Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another my restaurant video So yesterday I went ahead and brought you guys a brand new method that had just been put out by two individuals over on the big games Community and this method was one of the top ones that are out right now in order to be able to get the most amount of money And to be able to get the most amount of customers into your shop And one of the questions that I kept getting in the comments was carbon What about if we have the bigger restaurant game pass? What exactly do we do with all of our extra space now? Of course, I didn't really take this under consideration because of the fact that I don't have that game pass which Again, I did see a lot of you mentioning in the comments that I do have it and in reality I don't so for that reason in today's video I'm gonna go ahead and purchase the game pass and show you guys the exact design that you're gonna want to do to be able to get The most amount of customers with this again I do want to give a huge shout out to the two individuals that came out with this layout that being pretty one as well as Yaho Yaha if you guys have any questions for them They are in my discord the link is in the description and they have already said that they're more than happy to help you guys out But anyways like we always do in the videos. I'm gonna go ahead ahead and give everyone that is in the vip server a shout out that of course being mr fish stick boy bacon jackpot hadasaurus hype one of our good old moderators sorry fire and then all the way back there in the background we have bunny unfortunately the vip server has been filling up pretty quickly and sunny has not been in here but honestly it's okay sunny is here in spirit sunny we miss you man we really do miss you. But anyways, with that being said, as you guys can see, I now have 456,000 customers served. I'm sitting at about 25.7 mil. That, of course, being because I do have four VIP tables that are all completely decked out. I have four chairs for each and every single one of my royal tables. And honestly, with the 25 mil that I have right now, I can go ahead and purchase some more, which I might do at some point during the video. But the main focus right now is going to be for us to go ahead, go into game passes. As you can see right here, I don't have any of the game passes the only thing that i have is vip the reason why i purchased it is because it was cheap but i do want to go ahead and say that every single time that i put out information for you guys i do factor out the fact that i get vip money every single couple of minutes and stuff like that i think it's a thousand dollars so just a heads up i do factor that out another thing that i do want to point out is that i really didn't want to purchase the bigger restaurant because i was kind of afraid that it was going to affect you know future videos and stuff like that so right now i kind of have fingers crossed that the setting for game pass is to disable i'm hoping that that disables the bigger restaurant one but i guess we'll kind of have to wait and see now i saw so many of you in the first video yesterday asking me well carbon what exactly do you have in your floor two in that video i did go ahead and show you guys what was in my floor two that being the 66 jewelry cases that i have up here in order to increase my celebrity chances but i didn't go ahead and show you what i have in floor three four five six seven all the way up to nine so just to show you they are completely empty i don't have anything in these floors and i don't recommend that you guys put anything up here of course if you want to go ahead and put decorations and stuff as long as you aren't adding tables and chairs up here you should be perfectly fine so as i was saying let's go ahead now and purchase the bigger restaurant game pass that'll leave me with absolutely no robux but boom purchase successful thank you so much now let's head down to floor number one and technically we should have a bigger restaurant where how do i how do i enable this all right so easy solution i just went ahead and rejoined and that fixed it so it was no big deal so as you can see there is a lot of extra room going all the way around now and this was the issue that a lot of people were running into and what i saw a lot of you were telling me was that you just went ahead and added more tables and added more gumball machines but there is a very specific way in order to be able to do this to really optimize it as best as possible so really quickly now i'm going to go ahead and blacklist everyone out of here so we can focus exactly on the build and i'm going to destroy the entire restaurant and rebuild it all over again the correct way there is a completely different layout i mean it's kind of similar but it is completely different for the most part this part hurts me every single time that i have to close my restaurant just seeing everyone leave with the sad faces is, is so sad so so sad all right so let me go ahead and pick everything up now all right so everything has been completely picked up now we have an entire empty restaurant before we get started let me go really quickly to the shop buy a couple more of the royal tables and some royal chairs and spend this uh basically 26 mil that i have so with this we should be able to purchase three more royal tables and then we'll do three and one so that's one table and then we'll do another three and another one. And that's the second table. So now, unfortunately, we have 489,000. This does happen every now and then. Just a little heads up. If you can see on the top right hand side, this is my actual money. But for some reason, the UI in the bottom just completely freezes. I have no idea why that happens, but it does happen time to time. Unfortunately, I had to restart my VIP server in the middle of the recording because not only was I not able to access my money in the bottom by seeing it, but I also wasn't able to get any of the royal tables or any of the royal 
chairs that I had just picked up, but rejoining did go ahead and fix that. So we now have seven royal tables and 24 royal chairs. So let's go ahead and get started with the build. Again, I'm going to give you guys the perspective of where I'm standing. Here is the door. I'm standing right in front of the door. So the way that I'm looking at the restaurant is in this direction. Now, just like the first design, you're going to want to go ahead, leave one space up here and make all the way down a straight line. Again, I'm going to leave a gap up here so that that way I'm able to fill it up with bubblegum machines. Go ahead and head back to the top, leave two gaps and make another straight line going all the way down. Of course, this time you do not have to leave the space for the gumball machines unless of course you really want to. To be completely honest, if you didn't add this table, you could probably fit all 26 of the gumball machines here. But of course, that would be something completely up to you. Now, next, go to the side where the teleporter is, leave a one space gap again and go all the way down. Do the same exact thing that you did on the opposite side, that being leaving a two space gap. And again, all the way down. At the end, you should have something looking like this which is extremely similar to how we did the video yesterday now this is where things start to change a little bit and that being the middle section if you notice the gap that you have in the middle is far larger than what we had yesterday in yesterday's video what we did was we went ahead through this middle window that's right here and we moved down one space and we set the table right here this time it's going to be a little bit different instead of using the middle window as reference you're going to want to go one over to the left go ahead and place one table there and then right next to it you're going to want to place another table go down two spaces and then do the same exact thing down here now if you remember in my video yesterday i only added two tables on this side but because our restaurant is a lot bigger now we can go ahead and add another two spaces and put another two tables down so now we have three rows going down when dad said he's gonna go pick up milk across the street didn't come back for two years <laughs> All right, so once you've done that, go ahead and turn around. And this is where it's going to get a little bit trickier. The other one yesterday was a really simplistic layout. It was honestly extremely hard for you to mess it up. This one is a little bit trickier. So instead of doing another horizontal table over here, what you're going to want to do is right in front of the entrance, set a table vertical. At this point, it should be looking a little something like this. Now, right on top of that table, you're going to want to make another space and set another table there. And then obviously another one right next to it. At this point, you've now gone ahead and set down every single table inside of your restaurant. I'm going to go ahead and show it to you guys from all the different points in the restaurant. So that, that way you can get a general idea if you're just going based off of the footage. This is what it should be looking like. I'm going to go ahead, walk on the other side. I'm going to be standing right now, right on the teleporter. As you can see, this is what it looks like from this angle. And then we'll go over here. This is what it looks like from this angle. Now, if you remember before the way that the ovens were set up was vertical, we're going to go ahead now and set up the ovens in a horizontal format. So go ahead and grab your luxury stove or whatever it is that you're going to be using in this case. Using these top two tables as reference, just go ahead and move down one block and place down your stove. Next to that, you will be placing two more stoves and right underneath this one, another one. And right underneath this one, go ahead and place another one. So this is what you should have right now so far. Next up, go ahead and grab your order stand, place it in the middle. Middle. And then as I'm sure you've already guessed, grab your dishwashers, place them right here and right here. Of course, if you're going to be using the three dishwasher method, then go ahead and place your third one in this location. In my case, I'm going to place a golden tip jar there because I don't need a third one. Again, there was a lot of confusion before. If you're not using luxury stuff, I highly recommend that you use three of the dishwashers. This is simply because when celebrities do come in, it's going to be insane in here. So three dishwashers is going to be necessary. Next up, go ahead and grab two bubble gum machines or tip jars whatever it is that you're going to be using and set them one space away from the table in the front entrance just like this i'm going to go ahead and also set up the ones in the side which again you do need to remove that one table in order to be able to do this so it should be looking a little something like that once you've done that place your table down again and you should be good to go do the same exact thing on the other side which where am i going there they are then again go ahead and grab another table and place it down right there so this is what you should have so far now at this point it is 100 percent straight forward go ahead and set down all of your chairs which again i don't think that i need to sit here and show you me placing every single chair down because it's pretty straightforward you just want to fill in every single empty space at this point all right so every single chair has now been added in and this is what the final product is going to look like again it is completely up to you if you want to go ahead and remove these final tables on each side and add more bubble gum machines so that way you are guaranteeing that every single customer that walks out purchases gumballs or 
you can go ahead and keep every single seat so that that way when celebrities do come in there is more than enough room to be able to seat everybody down now i'm going to go ahead and take this time really quickly to answer some questions that i've been seeing repeated over and over and over again in my comments of yesterday's video the biggest one obviously being well carbon if we're only using the first and second floor what is the purpose of buying every single floor above that the simple answer to that is that buying more and more floors will increase the spawn rate of customers so if you have all nine floors every single 1.5 to 3.75 seconds a customer or a group of customers will come into your restaurant on the screen right now i'm going to be showing you the entire chart this is straight off of the big games frequently asked questions portion where they go ahead and give you the answer of how much the spawn rate goes up every single floor that you purchase so yes it is extremely important for you to go ahead and purchase more floors when you do have the opportunity to do so regardless whether the fact that they're empty or not i also want to go ahead and apologize if you guys hear the lawnmower in the background my neighbor decided to cut grass the moment that i started recording seems like it happens every single time but yeah i hope that this does help you guys out those of you that do have the game pass sub to carb for free cookie so if i sub to myself does that mean that i get a cookie because i i really like cookies um so i I'd, I'd kind of appreciate it if you if you gave me a cookie but anyways if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like on it don't forget to subscribe to the channel we are actually on our way right now to 10,000 subscribers it doesn't even sound real when i say that considering we literally just hit 9,000 subs yesterday i really do appreciate all the support that you guys have been showing to the channel and every single one of you that come to the vips every single day and those of you that have been joining the discord and being extremely active but with that being said that's gonna go ahead and end it for this video like always I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.